Sometimes it's what you don't get to see that gets to you. Day two. So hungry. I've searched for food, but the only thing I've found are other people's annoying useless audio logs. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video games with scary audio logs. They're looking for the fireflies. They've all left. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. While audio logs have been the butt end of jokes in the modern landscape of gaming, when done properly, they're an excellent tool for providing backstory, character depth, and in this case, fear. I was loyal to you, and you cheap bastards left me twisting in the wind. For this list, we're focusing on those games that constantly have us looking over our shoulder with their exceptional use of unsettling and creepy audio logs. Supervisor 2nd Engineer Dallas reporting. This will be my last report. Number 10, The Last of Us. Apparently, there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Zombies are a polarizing trope in horror games, and up until Naughty Dog's masterpiece, they were something that fans were sure they wanted to stay dead. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. Heavily focusing on the human experience of the apocalypse, while there wasn't too many of them, these audio logs do an excellent job of covering up almost every human emotion. From the fear of a lab tech who knows he's gonna turn, to the despair of a doctor coming to terms with the fact that she can't save everyone, these logs terrified us by hitting us with a healthy dose of reality, which was much scarier than any zombie could ever hope to be. I just want this to end. So be it. Number 9, Fallout series. Why the hell would he come all the way out here? That's been a little nuts for some time now, but not like this. Desolate landscapes and harsh environments are nothing compared to the most dangerous enemy in Bethesda's post-apocalyptic franchise, your fellow man. Probably shouldn't have killed all those people. Probably should have stayed at home. It seems like everyone shows their sadistic true colors in their struggle for survival, and the audio logs you find scattered throughout your quest do an excellent job of driving that point home. Whether describing the fear of the first-hand experiences with the bloodthirsty scavengers, or regret at not being able to help the victims, the harsh reality of the situation is always on full display. While it may have gotten lonely out there in the wasteland, thinking back to all the audio logs we found has convinced that sometimes alone is better. Maybe I shouldn't have waited so damn long to start tracking it. Trail's gone cold. I wonder what these guys are. Number eight, the Swapper. This is where we developed the device in your hands. We looked at the way the watchers communicate and built a delivery system for it. Harmless on the surface, these logs hit us with a few too many existential questions for our liking. Listening to the worries of the crew members who had soul swapped one too many times and ended up losing track of the original copy immediately had us regretting all the times we carelessly watched our copies dissolve into nothing and die after completing each level. Scaling up to full-blown paranoia the more we swapped, we grew suspicious of ourselves, our clones, and everything else we interacted with. Extremely effective at making us fear the core mechanic of the game, these recordings still have us lying in bed awake at night. But the Swapper has taught us that the mind is some fundamental part of the universe which is not physical. Number 7, Soma. We're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way, along with your dad. Furthering our deepening identity crisis, Frictional Games' source of technophobia had us uneasy right from the get-go. We like to think that we're all special and unique individuals, but once we learned of the possibility to upload entire lives to a hard drive, we were all terrified of the possible real-world future. A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Each tiny piece of the puzzle continued to throw uncomfortable, psychologically draining questions at us, forcing us to think about all the possible implications of this haunting digital-centric world. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Forcing us to come to terms with our own morality, Soma had us scared not only of the lurking depths of the abyss, but of our own computers as well. Number 6, Doom 3. This place does funny things with your eyes and your perception of time. Before spending some time with the audio logs left behind by the research team, it was hard to imagine that anything could scare us after mowing down hundreds of the monstrous demons from hell. Describing being lost and alone after encounters with the monsters in grotesque detail, these logs accomplished the impressive task of making us fear creatures we've killed a hundred times over. They could only be described as demons. I have never seen such a big thing move so quickly. All of the weapons in the world couldn't keep us feeling safe after realizing just how creepy each enemy really was. 
Something as simple as a few lines of dialogue put our imaginations into overdrive and had us hesitating to turn down each hallway no matter how many bullets we had left. I'm not sure how much longer I, 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 I can... I'm shooting at shadows here. And every moment I feel them creeping closer toward me. Number five, alien isolation. Every door is locked and he sure as hell couldn't fit through the air vent without a fight. We don't know what to do. With its vast emptiness and crushing loneliness, space was scary enough without these countless hair-raising crew logs. Oh yeah, also there's a xenomorph, whatever. Thrown in for good measure regardless, they're enough fuel to kickstart any amount of nightmares. Whether detailing the synthetics or the skulking alien, these various logs which described attacks, massacres, and the abduction of dead bodies amongst many other horrors did a good job of making us not want to explore the ship and kept us on our toes even when the Xenomorph was nowhere to be seen. There are conflicts with the hazard containment breach. Synthetic safety procedures are getting bypassed left and right. Alone in the hallways of the spacecraft, we never felt safe after hearing about the big baddie stalking through the vents, and it kept us looking over our shoulder the whole way through. I can't tell who escaped. There are some boys, but the others were taken through the vents one by one. Number four, Batman, Arkham Asylum. I am increasingly worried he cannot be cured. He has no empathy for his victims. The Batman universe has had decades to build up the different villains and give them each a distinct personality. But even with such an established pedigree, the Asylum interview tapes still made our skin crawl. Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Each one hammers home just how ruthless and psychopathic each inmate actually is. And they do a good job of driving home the bleakness of Batman's new home at Arkham. The world's greatest detective may be on the case, but listening to the recordings of the serial killer Zaz or the sadistic Riddler while knowing they're on the loose was enough to threaten us at every moment. Sarah, do not answer the door, can you hear me? Just a little time pouring through these tapes quickly shows you that these are not the villains you know from your childhood comics. Got a few more surprises in store for you. Prepare to face your fear. Number three, System Shock 2. The change is upon me that the path is more glorious than we imagined. It does not stop in a mere single mutation. Pioneering almost every use of audio logs that followed, each entry in this classic of the genre tells of a parasitic alien infection called the Many that takes control of its hosts. <laughs> Sentient and self-aware, their incessant attempts to have us join them were thankfully undermined constantly by hearing the endless logs of fellow crew members being brutally killed or turned by the alien group. They've killed my men, and now they've killed me. I'm holding my guts inside of me with both hands. Relentlessly creepy, they had just enough details to keep us guessing as we scoured the Von Braun for a way to escape. Never letting us get comfortable, System Shock 2's audio logs are a rare breed that continues to have us sleeping with one eye open every time we think about them. Glory to the many. I am a voice in their choirs. Number two, Bioshock. Free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. It should come as no surprise that the spiritual successor to System Shock would feature some bone-chilling audio logs as well. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off. I thought, get away from me. Beautiful and creepy all at once, the eerily designed city of Rapture holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered through the various collectible logs scattered throughout the Art Deco stylings. And just a couple of minutes spent with them were enough to point us towards the culprits behind the city's failure. To have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Our character has exclusive access to some of the most horrific acts possible routinely performed by the awful people calling Andrew Ryan City home. Dark and disturbing, hearing these tapes had us quickly going from worried about the Splicers and Little Sisters to instead fearing running into the suddenly more fearsome people we had heard so much about. With Adam and my scalpel, I have been transformed. But is there not something better? Number one, dead space. At least if I don't have any limbs, I won't be able to kill anyone when I'm infected. Doing things a little differently than other sci-fi horror titans, these audio logs throw subtlety to the wind and let you know exactly why you should be afraid, down to every last gruesome detail. Oh God. Oh. We thought necromorphs were creepy enough, 
but hearing the resolve of a soldier to dismember all of his own limbs so that he wouldn't pose a threat once he came back added a new, more terrifying depth to the entire experience as we started to wonder who the people were behind each monster. These collectible logs are filled with fear, hopelessness, and looming dread that ate at our minds the entire time, and stand as some of the finest examples of scary audio logs in gaming. They were nothing compared with what came after. Our friends, our co-workers, started coming back. Do you agree with our list? There's only one way to be sure. Do you have any other games with terrifying audio logs? For more fun top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain.